state line, King City. A city devoted to the glory of God, but in her dark underbelly, there are villains gathering. Evil men who seek to steal God's glory. Will King City find her hero? Can she be saved and restored to her former glory? For the answer to these questions and more, tune in every week to The King City Chronicles. I give everything to honor my king! Oh, hello, children. I was supposed to meet Casey Carter here. You haven't seen him, have you? No? All right, well, we were going to have an exclusive interview, but he must be busy. Let me come down and see, have a look around, see if he's anywhere. You know, he's been really busy lately, doing a lot of investigative reporting. Yes, he's trying to find out what happened to the Philistine. As you know, last week, the Philistine and the Obliterator met in combat on top of the wall, the walls of King City, and there was a huge explosion, and they were thrown in different directions, and we never did find what happened to the Philistine. However, we did find the obliterator about a hundred yards away. We picked him up, bandaged up his wounds, and dropped him off in a maximum security prison. So fear not, King City is safe from his evil ways. Oh, who could that be? Come in, scripture guy. Are you there? Yes, here I am, Casey Carter. Where are you? Well, uh, I decided to go to the Philistines' old hideout and, oh, good. and have a look around. Mm -hmm. I searched everywhere, but all I found was this box full of his favorite things. Maybe there's yeah. clues so, inside. We got raindrops on roses. Raindrops on roses. Uh, soft woolen mittens. What? And bright paper packages tied up with string. That's Maria wait, stuff. Wait a minute. Uh, this is the wrong box. I think so. Oh, here's Uncle uh, Phil's box. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. This makes a lot more sense. Here's his freeze ray. Oh, yeah. And his, uh, and his heart shield. And, yeah, I remember and, and that. And his rubber yeah. chicken gun. Oh, he loved that rubber chicken yeah. gun. Oh, hey. One second. What? What's this? Well, that looks like an angel. Oh, yeah. Hey, I remember this angel. It was from Uncle Phil's nativity set. Oh. Every December, he would set it up and gather all the nephews and nieces and tell us the story of the king who was born to save us. Yeah, it's a great He just story. loved Christmas. Wow. This is bringing back some, some warm memories. I'm, I'm sorry, scripture guy. I'm getting kind of emotional. I, I need to hang up and call Aunt Tilly. All right, goodbye. Stay strong, Casey Carter. Poor Casey Carter. He's getting choked up. You know, Christmas can be that time of year when it brings back really important memories. Would you kids like to hear the story that he was going to read from the Bible? Let me get out the good news and I'll tell you right now. Now, Mary was just a young girl, probably only a teenager, when an angel named Gabriel actually appeared to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Wow, imagine that. Mary must have been shocked to, to meet an angel. Hmm, I think I'd be a little bit frightened. In fact, Mary might have been because the angel told her not to be afraid because God had chosen her to give birth to his son, Jesus. Now listen to this part, how Gabriel described Jesus. He will be great and called the son of the most high. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. Oh, wow. Did you kids hear that? God is going to give Jesus the throne of a kingdom that goes on forever and ever. And we get to be a part of that kingdom. <laughs> now, the people of Israel, when they heard this, they had been through many good things and bad kings. And I'll bet it gave them so much hope to know that now the one true king had been born. And we can all feel better here just knowing that King City and King Jesus are watching over us. Why, what could that be? Let me have a look. Oh. It's the plutonium heart. Why, there's only one person who could have sent this. The Philistine. I've got to get this clue over to Casey Carty quickly. All right, kids, stay safe and Merry Christmas. I give everything to honor my king!